I'm going to show you a demonstration of how to use Dermafuse. Dermafuse is a medical grade N-butyl cyanoacrylate adhesive and it can be used to bond tissue together following many veterinary procedures. For example, lacerations, abrasions, gives extra security to sutures and staples and is often used after tooth extractions and other oral surgery. Dermafuse is also ideal to use on spaying and neutering, ducal removal and ocular surgery. Dermafuse contains a blue dye which allows you to easily see where the product has been applied to the skin. Dermafuse changes from a liquid to a solid state by polymerising within seconds to seal the wound. The Dermafuse will stop minor bleeding and binds the wound edges together, therefore this may eliminate the need for sutures or bandages. There is no need to remove the Dermafuse from the skin as the adhesive will slough off as the healing occurs. However, do not use Dermafuse on infected deep puncture wounds or beneath the epidermal layer. Each 3ml bottle is equivalent to 0.12 ounces containing approximately 175 drops. Dermafuse has a unique built-in spike within the cap. This prevents the bottle becoming occluded with glue once opened. With the Dermafuse, we also include four sterile applicator tips. These allow you to control the precise amount of glue required so you don't apply too much and you have a clean sterile applicator for each procedure, which can cut down on infections. If you store the Dermafuse in the fridge or freezer before opening, it will help maintain the life of the glue or you can store the bottle upright in a cool dry place away from the heat. After opening, do not return the bottle to the fridge. It is worth noting that a white chalky substance may form on the outside of the bottle. This is known as bottle blooming. This is normal and does not compromise the effectiveness or the integrity of the Dermafuse. Dermafuse must be used at room temperature you will remove your bottle cap and place your applicator tip on the bottle and you'll push down to click it into place. Just a little tip for you, I like to place the lip of the applicator facing towards the patient because when I've applied the glue, if there is a residual droplet, it will land on the lip rather than running down the bottle, which could cause a mess. Dermafuse can also be used between stainless steel staples. Just note, sometimes the application of adhesive on staples may interfere with staple removal. After the surgical procedure is complete, to ensure the best adhesion of Dermafuse and to avoid any excessive exothermic reaction, ensure your application site is free from excessive fluids. Now you can approximate the edges of your wound or surgical incision. You will apply your Dermafuse sparingly to the surface of the site to form a thin layer. Thick applications will crack and lift prematurely. Now you can hold your skin edges together for 5 to 10 seconds. Avoid touching moist surfaces with the applicator tip. Do not apply Dermafuse internally or below the epidermal layer. After completing the procedure, check for bleeding you can reapply a drop of Dermafuse to the skin edges if required. So when you've completely finished your procedure, you will remove your applicator tip and replace it with your cap with a built-in spike. And now your Dermafuse is ready for the next time you need to use it. If required, we also provide extra applicator tips in packs of 10.